Hey guys and gals, welcome to a tutorial on how to set up auto mining. Now if you get into the game far enough where you can afford miners, and you'll need about, oh let's say 500,000 credits, 600,000 to be safe, but what you need to do is you need to go to a wharf. A wharf is where you actually buy um, small and large ships, and there's two ways to buy the ship. I'll show you the first way. We can just go onto our ship. Once we land here, get into our seat, bring up the enter key. We can just buy a ship by going in and manually purchasing the ship. The other way is that you can actually find this little storefront logo. It's in all wharfs. You can find it, but you actually might be on the other side. I'm actually, my ship's actually parked on the other side, so I had to walk all the way over here come back up here and if you come up here go into the ship I guess store I guess you can call that you talk to this hello guy there, hello there. and you can ask him to buy ships and you're back in the same screen now obviously the first just doing it from your ship is quicker so why would you want to get out of your ship and uh, do any of that anyway so what you needed to order a ship first we need to actually we're gonna order an M size class 1 and we are in Argon space, so we're going to actually get the Drill Vanguard. The Drill Vanguard is the best ship for uh, mining. You also have the Sundar Vanguard. You can buy that if you want. But the Drill Vanguard is, I, in my opinion, better than the Sundar Vanguard. So that's, that's your selection. And now, so this is the setup I'm going to use to it. Uh, the total cost of this vessel um, is where are we at? We're at 454,472. So that's not too bad. So I'm going to add it to the shopping list. If I look down here, um, I notice that there's no other ships in construction and it's only going to take two minutes for the ship to build. And the total price again is like that. So I'm going to confirm the order and that's that. All right. So what you need to do now is we need to command the ship to actually start doing what we want. Now I already have a trade ship out there and, it's, and I have it already uh, doing silicon so this ship's going to be my ore uh, miner and selling so I'm going to go to enter actually I'm going to go into the map key sorry and in the map key you're going to go to property owned and you're going to see that my new drill vanguard is right here I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to information in this panel you see the information of the whole ship in these two tabs up here I'm gonna to go to behavior click on the behavior pad now if you look Please down here your cargo you will see that um, down in this default behavior part what we want to do is we want to change this hold position we're gonna click on it and we're gonna change it from hold position to auto mine now if you look at the stars the stars for auto mine is one. That means you need a captain. The captain at least has one star. And usually, when you uh, add the captain in, uh, when you build the ship, he's usually like two or three stars anyway. So you're all set. So I'm going to choose that. That's auto mine. That's all set. And the next thing I want to do is I want to go down here to the add wares. The add wares is telling you, uh, telling the captain what you want him to mine. So I'm going to click on it. And your choice is ice, nevidium, ore, or silicon. Now, I want to do ore. I'm going to do that. You can actually add more than one ware, but I don't suggest you do this. You just have one ship concentrate on one vessel, and make sure that um, you've you know you've done a lot of um, exploring. If you locked on, you, you've unlocked a lot of uh, the stations for he has something to sell to you. So that's something I didn't cover. Um, when you actually go into auto mine, auto mine covers both mining and selling that's all that's all you have to worry about it so for the selling part we have to go to the max uh, to gate distance to uh, to go so basically this is how far he will travel to actually buy I mean actually to sell the ores and I suggest not going any more than three because um, if the farther he goes the farther he has to go the longer it takes to make money because if he's going farther away to sell stuff um, then you're not making as much money because he's not around you know he's taking too long in between mining and selling if he has to go any farther than that then you know you, you're gonna have to move him and have him mine somewhere else now so that's all set I'm gonna hit confirm I'll wait for you to tell me to take off so now he's asking me that now she's asking me that she'll she'll wait until I tell her to take off so we'll get into that in a second so the next thing you want to make sure is that 
the the system you set him up in. So I'm in Argon Prime right now, which is a great place to actually do mining. It's a very it's a very well developed system, and some of the systems around it are very well done. So the system you have him you set him up in that guy just set up is the system that he's gonna mine in so remember that if you want to move him somewhere else you will physically have to move him and you can do that by um, going back into the M thing uh, going to the property own you click on him drill vanguard then you go out into your map and you find wherever you want him to go and you click on the station you want him to go to you right click and you go dock at that station and then you have to wait for him to get there and then you have to do all of the, um, the things that we just did but that's all set for us we don't we don't have to worry about that anymore so all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back into map mode I'm gonna go to property zone I'm gonna go to the drill vanguard I'm gonna go to the comm Can I help? I'm gonna contact her and I'm gonna say proceed with current orders and there she goes she is gonna take off and she's gonna start doing making money that's it that's all there is to the auto mining um, it's not hard like I said I have a silicon mine around here and now this is my second vessel that I have in this uh, my, my game I got going right now and she'll start making me money now how much money am I gonna make from this well that's a whole nother question it could take a couple hours for you to get all your money back from uh, this in the current version because um, they do have to travel a lot and they do have to do their thing um, just make sure that when you are um, doing this that you have satellites around all the stations for your miners can actually see where to sell the stuff and that includes the stations outside of Argon Prime or whatever whatever sector you are doing for they can see um, where they can sell the stuff. Now I have this guy set up to three so he'll go up to three sectors away to start selling stuff so remember that you might want to you want to fine-tune that a little bit after a while but that's it so that's how you set up an auto miner so this is Malkuth 1974 out of here